Scandi was optimized at first for mobile and future plans. Uh, with Scandi, there is a lot of enthusiasm from our existing clients, and we saw that Scandi is still fast. This customer from Singapore had approached us uh, for a multi-country, multi-brand, and also they wanted a PWA. I mean, so it's a Singapore-based cosmetics, uh, a big scale-up. It's not a startup. I mean, they have over twenty percent of market share uh, in in the Islamic countries. This is a specialty product. Uh, I mean, halal certified products, and they have more market share than the known brands such as Axe and fog etc so uh, you know performance um, security and uh, you know features with topmost priority it had to be um, enterprise class uh, they have under the holding company they have four uh, brands and they are actually present in four countries now but they have a plan to launch into at least five more uh, in the next six months so looking at the scale uh, etc uh, and also uh, you know the timeline uh, and you know fortunately unfortunately uh, the uh, festival of ramadan is uh, almost you know another another 15 days away and they wanted it to be launched by then so we did not have an option of uh, going for a custom framework like view storefront or a completely custom you know react storefront store and uh, that is when we chanced upon scandi so we were looking at options and uh, we had heard a lot about Scandi PWA. Uh, the biggest benefit was that we had all the features of Magento available out of the box. Uh, otherwise, building everything from scratch is uh, just not possible in this time. And usually people do not take up projects with a one month timeline, but uh, we were sure we had done projects before on Magento in a month or less and you know, launched for large scale customers. Uh, you know, some of our customers had uh, done a million dollar worth of sales in a day uh, during such seasons. So we were confident, but uh, the platform was the uh, consideration, was the only thing. So we did not, in fact, you know, uh, to convince the customer, we did not tell them that it would be scandy. We told them it would be a PWA because for them, uh, a new uh, platform might be uh, of some hesitation because uh, at that point, we did not have Puma or Adidas as a case study yet. Like there were other bigger ones, but we did not have uh, Adidas or Puma or uh, for the other retail brands as such as case studies with Scandi. So basically, their requirements was four countries, four uh, four brands, uh, specific gateways for each country, and the specific uh, currency of those countries. Right? It, it had to be cutting edge because it's a well-funded startup. Uh, you know, it is funded by Axel Partners and also Sequoia. So they always look at the best stack, right? And mobile was always uh, priority. One month timeline, flexibility in terms of future customization. That is why we had to keep out Shopify out of it because you, you cannot do a lot uh, without breaking your head. Uh, and then no limitations in terms of design, right? And so to launch something in a month that is of this scale, you will, uh, what we usually follow is, and this could probably of some use uh, to other agencies or developers who, uh, you know, whose customers usually ask for, uh, you know, unrealistic timelines. So uh, what we usually do is divide the project into two phases, uh, uh, an MVP, a minimum uh, viable or minimum lovable product um, in almost 30 days or less than 30 days. And then a version two with enhancement uh, or improvements. Uh, okay. Take is we jump into the integrations right away. We work on perfecting the integrations like payment gateways, uh, you know, the logistics partners, the SMS, emails, WhatsApp, uh, social logins, because that, uh, you know, uh, those are the major points that take most of the time testing as well as perfect. You get most of the bugs in uh, these things, and these are the most critical aspects of launching an e store, right? Uh, design, uh, you know, perfecting the features, etc., can come towards the end. So you 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 are supposed to have a working site where the transaction or the storefront is ready. Everything else can take a taxi. Uh, also, to save time, uh, there are very good third-party providers for any feature that you uh, take up, and especially the post-purchase scenario, because 
that does not affect the uh, user's experience at least initially so we usually go for uh, third party integrations like uh, uh, for shipments and all we use something like uh, either ship rocket or uh, after ship or or uh, there is we supply they will take care of the end to end post shipment process the notifications uh, order tracking uh, you know return centers uh, or promise dates etc are taken care by third parties you do not have to spend a lot of time there reviews and user generated content so yes it's can it does have uh, the regular review system but uh, the larger clients would ask for um, you know post purchase uh, you know uh, review mailers and, and some offers related to that etc so there are third party you, know, you have your point all but those are expensive so uh, there are other options like uh, judge me and uh, stamp.io right they will help you with the user generated content as well as reviews uh, you have Um, you know the surveys, so you can integrate Hotjar or uh, Survey uh, Survey Sparrow, etc. And for notifications, you can have something like a push alert or uh, similar options. Uh, fourth was we discussed with the client that um, you know should we uh, can we uh, keep the admin side process, the order processing, order management, cataloging, etc. Uh, the way it is available by default in Scandi slash Magento. and they were absolutely fine because they said the priority is to launch and to have a great user experience uh, <clears throat> also because it does not affect the user experience uh, also what uh, the next point is we use the default scan layout for the cart checkout because it uh, it does not matter uh, a lot as to how much you can modify or optimize um, the cart pages or the checkout of course you can but um you know if you have such timelines you need not focus too much on that my account etc um, you know you have you can do the branding or the um you know the colors or the css of um, the theme that you are uh, the design that you are doing but otherwise you can leave it as it is of course in phase 2 you can do as much as you want because you generally have a lot more time uh, to pursue the enhancements okay again then why did we choose scandi only um the speed uh, like everyone before me has told everyone is in love with the speed because everyone is used to the speed of magento uh, you know all, almost a snail speed uh, platform i mean people the only thing that people usually do not like with magento is the speed uh, that it loads with even though you know no matter how much you press it and, and especially with the advent of uh, view store fronts and agent of ws studios and and the custom um, react store fronts people want something um, you know they see a 1 second or a sub 1 second load time and they say we want this and uh, with magento you are mostly helpless uh, otherwise you have to spend uh, crazily on the um, you know resources optimization on the hosting instead why not go with something like uh, scandi you know and we were trying to compare it with the custom frameworks um, you know we tried a comparison with the react store front and we saw that scandi is still faster even with a lot more performance uh, <clears throat> yeah uh, the ux yes with speed comes um, a great user experience and what we saw with scandi was they had you know optimized it first for mobile and uh, then probably adapted adapted it for the web so it almost feels like an app or or not almost it does feel like an app and is faster than some native apps that we are used to using here in india uh, also it, it it adds all the pw features you know the offline uh, notification home screen etc uh, second the biggest or in fact this should be the biggest one you not starting from scratch uh, you get all the features i mean almost 300 features from magento so you don't feel like you are using another platform you are on magento You're using a different thing, but you are getting the crazy speed that you know, you've always. Wanted. Also, why we were able to suggest this client, uh, you know, we were able to suggest candy to this client was their biggest uh, ask was the multi-store or the multi-country or multi-brand feature. So, and we saw that uh, you know, candy did support the multi-website, multi-store, multi-view, uh, multi-store view feature. So, um, you know, that was uh, a no-brainer for us. We directly went ahead uh, since really so shopify was initially in consideration for the client uh, but they saw that uh, you know you could not build as much as you wanted 
uh, with Shopify, so that was out of the question. Uh, the next biggest uh, thing that we saw, uh, the client did not, but we saw was that this is the only actively supported, active, actively developed and actively documented PWA platform when you compare it with, say, the PWA Studio, which if you ask uh, the developers, the general manager developers, they are very hesitant uh, to use, as they say, you know, there's very poor support, very poor documentation and very slow development. We do not know what's happening inside, but on the outside for the developers, it is um, you know, not a great experience. View Storefront has its ups, uh, React Storefront has its ups, but nothing as actively or as enthusiastically developed as Scanning. Uh, the challenges that uh, we had faced initially because it was an absolutely new thing. We, we had not done a lot of uh, development on Scandi before. So we also took help from a partner. I mean, we did not have enough bandwidth internally, uh, you know, in the timeline. I mean, who does it in a month, right? So we took help from a, another partner who was very active on Scandi here in India. Uh, <clears throat> so if you're new to Scandi, yes, for the developers or for the team also, it, there is a learning curve. I mean, someone who is very deep into Magento and into React, they might find it pretty easy, but people only from the Magento background do find it a little, uh, you know, initially, at least initially, a little difficult to get the hang of, uh, you know, how to customize can be set up. Also, maybe uh, a little tricky, but especially the customization or the app development, right? Uh, one big consideration for us while selecting was the availability of extensions, although we had a lot of features built in, but uh, everyone needs extensions, especially uh, today when there are, you know, when they refer other sites and they see that all the features are available by default. Um, so, um, yeah, we, we looked at the possible extensions. There are a few good ones, but uh, not for the countries that this client was looking at. Right. So uh, we looked at third party extensions that we could just plug and play instead of making an extension for Magento. Uh, uh, you know, but the major extensions, we are developing it from scratch. Like I said, the payments and uh, the SMS and emails, uh, etc. And phase two, there are, we have planned a lot of development like loyalty and affiliates and referrals, uh, etc. Which we hope we can upload it to the marketplace as well. Uh, yeah, another challenge was uh, documentation is good, yes, but if you do stack, uh, you get uh, stuck somewhere and also because it is a new platform, not as much as you would expect. Right? These are basically not exactly challenges, but more of nitpicking because you know, when you have pros, you will also probably want to show some cons uh, you know, if you're in a setup. So what we have done for this client uh, is we are launching with two brands. Uh, <clears throat> The, and the two brands are available in uh, different countries. I mean, one operates mainly in the Gulf regions and one operates in uh, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, in Asia, um, except the Southeast Asia um, regions. And they are pretty big in these regions already. So you know, the upgrade has to be a real upgrade rather than a parallel uh, development. So uh, we had to, uh, we are currently, or, or uh, the integrations for Razorpay, that's an Indian gateway, SSL Commerce, a Bangladesh gateway, and uh, of course, PayPal is uh, completed. Uh, uh, you know, country-wise logistics, because there's no one thing except, uh, these are low value products, I mean, premium, but low value products. So you cannot go with, could not go with UPS or FedEx or, uh, um, you know, DHL. So we had to go with the local ones, so we had to, Develop integrations with the delivery, Redex, and Armex. A common SMTP, yes, it can work across the platform. So you have chosen Mailgun for the developer friendliness and, and a common global SMS provider. Uh, completely from the scratch, custom design. We, we did spend a considerable time on the design. Uh, no customization as of now in the backend because uh, we had discussed with the client that. Let us go live and then we'll have the announcements and they were absolutely fine with it. And usually clients are also okay with, uh, you know, making some compromises on the back end, on the, on the order, order processing or the uh, back office works. Yeah. Uh, we have integrated standard IO for uh, the UGC, user generated content and uh, uh, reviews post purchase. And we have push notifications in the form of push alerts. Uh, there's a third party product re recommendation uh, plugin. Uh, this is 
you know what is going on currently and we uh, have planned to launch launch it in uh, the first week of april so another week or eight you know 10 days we will be live with a scandy platform which uh, okay and there's no manual selection of the country previously they had uh, country specific stores uh, slash bangladesh slash india or bangladesh dot abc.com right now we have used maxmind um, apis for the ip detection and we redirect based on the country of the customer automatically without giving them an experience that they are on a different uh, store or, or uh, you know they are re being redirected to another store so uh, a lot of customization has gone on on the front end while development but on the back end we have kept it plain and simple so uh, in terms of our future plans uh, with scandy i mean there is a lot of enthusiasm with from our existing clients themselves um, on, only thing is that we only pitch this to clients who have the required appetite and budgets for the cutting, cutting edge because you do not want to get stuck with clients who are just giving a try with e-commerce etc right um, we discuss with clients whether they have they understand the challenges that comes with launching a cutting edge technology like a PWA, um, and they and that, that they should be uh, you know ready to um, spend sufficient time, sufficient, sufficient uh, money, and uh, you know the uh, risks that come with launching a cutting edge site. Okay, uh, just a <clears throat> small cooler as to how to. I mean, I had this experience uh, recently. Dell is one of our clients here in India. We launched the Dell store just a month back, and they do crazy sales almost. Uh, I can say almost five hundred thousand dollars a day uh, of sales on the platform, but that's not scanty yet. We just sent them a link of this MX dot mind dot ID, and they said we want to get started with this from next month, right? So that's how easy it is to convince clients because we say they are currently on Magento for two. We said why not upgrade, you know, to scanty? They wanted to do a PWA but did not have enough time at that point. So now uh, you know we are. Going with the Scandi uh, as, well, as well, and we are in talks with the uh, Jockey, um, Decathlon, etc., for uh, you know, some of their country specific stores. About the company, we are a nine year old firm based out of Bangalore. We have um, you know, project managers and sales offices in four other countries. Uh, for e commerce, we usually uh, generally or primarily use Magento, but uh, some of our clients do ask for custom platforms like. Uh, or a React storefront or a new storefront. So now we are all moving them to Scandi. Um, we, like I said, we had been working on Magento with Scandi for seven years, but uh, with Scandi very recently, and we have found good acceptance uh, from the customers. Like uh, the client that we are talking about, um, I'll just show you a screenshot of what we are doing with them. So this is uh, the current status. This is in scan B. So, and when they, you know, we just sent a under construction link to the client, and he was like, "Yes, we made the right choice." Uh, so, you know, that was a great confidence booster. So, uh, you know, we wish best of luck to other agencies that are looking at adopting Scandi for their customers. Uh, I would like to, you know, I hope uh, you know, if there are any questions on the business side of things or on the sales side, I could probably give you give some suggestions. So thank you for that. Thank you so much.